I'm actually going to eat, but we are hoping 2022 is something different, but you never know, you never know. We got it. <laughs> So I just did a COVID test today and two weeks ago I found out I had Crohn's disease. I would put in somewhere on the screen what Crohn's disease is and then today I did my COVID test and I'm positive. So I'm thinking of doing something like quarantine with me or something like that but that means you guys accept seeing me like this because I do not have the energy to look any different from this. I'm coming as I am. This is all I can offer. This is who I am for the next couple of days. And like time is not moving by fast. Like this day has taken long. For what? Who is allowing it? For who? For why? I'm irritated. But just, this is just day one. Worst, I think, of what we're gonna do. The next day, just got my lunch. Some rice, some cucumber, some carrots, and chicken. Made by my mother, and have some juice and water. Today is day two of what? Day two of quarantine. What do you mean, breathe, breathe? Don't tell me to breathe. I can't be. Yo, bring me a shot. Bring me a shot. Hi, guys. <clears throat> Hi guys, so this is a couple of days later from that other video and yeah, I just want to show you guys like my whole COVID routine, what I do in a day. So I just put up and I show you my whole routine. My day starts with me praying of course. I don't know if you see that because I use my phone to read like the daily scripture. Then what else do I do? I have... I just had to write it down because I forget like with the medicine is messing up my thinking, my brain, everything. So yeah, then I'm gonna clear my room, I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna wait for food to be brought to me, then a little bit later on I always go to the rooftop like just for me to come back to life and feel a little bit normal.
How are you guys spitting your tissue? Like this? Like this? Or like this? Then you pick it from there because I really can't do that. This is how we do it. It's like one of those, um, what do you call it? The, do you put cereal before milk or milk before cereal type of questions? I had to ask you. I'm stuck in my room, guys. I'm bored. I need to have conversation with people. So let me know down in the comments how you are doing your tissue. Let's go back to cleaning. Okay, so I'm done with my cleanup, no food, because I'm not going to this down. So I'm done with my cleanup, not the full cleanup, because I still need to clean my shower. I already sanitized it though, clean my shower, then the door knobs, because everyone will touch them and I will not touch them. But no one comes to my room, only mom, and she's bringing me land, which might be soon. I don't know if I record her if she wants to be in the video or not. Even I see. Then yeah, I'm gonna take a shower. And yeah, I'm already tired. I'm literally running out of breath. So let me go get ready to shower. So guys, my food just came. Some rice, some chicken, some chicken like we just gonna eat <coughs> then I don't know start the rest or eat. I've been reading. I say I read you guys. This could have been a math plan, but I'm so tired and I need to do my medicine just after eating. Like I said, mama is not in my food. So, when she brings my food, just come in the mask, wearing gloves and all that stuff. So, it's our only time to like have a proper conversation. Yes, she did your cousin and all that stuff. Mama is so fun. I was saying, she does like video call me. We have some conversations for some time because it's lonely to be here. The only time I proper get like um fresh air because i can't feel like i've become numb so i can't go outside like down the last time i went down i had like a lot of insects walking on me and stuff and then i couldn't feel so when mom came out she's like no kid but all these things okay and so i've been like i can't be going outside it can't be me i can't be doing that and i can't look cute because i'm so tired to look cute you guys just have to accept me like this I'm tired, I'm sick, and all those things. So let me just eat. And I wanna watch a movie from my phone. So yeah, bye guys. Three hours later. Hi guys. So it's a couple of hours after the time I recorded me eating and stuff. I watched my movie. Yeah, I was talking to some friends. I read a chapter of my book. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So now is my self-care done or rooftop done. I'm about to go up and just sit there for a bit and get some fresh air. So yeah, I'm going to show you all that. This is your daily reminder to drink some water. Oh yeah, I was supposed to explain 
about the whole I got COVID without knowing where I got COVID from. <laughs> I've been home this whole time. Oh, excuse the plates, the empty plates behind me because I have to be done here. I don't go downstairs. I haven't been in a couple of days. So yeah, I got COVID, but I've been home the whole time. Excuse me. And it's trying to ruin all my plans. Like literally, I have no plans for New Year anymore because I still have to quarantine and all that stuff. So what a wonderful way to end my year. Then I was also saying, I, I don't know if I said it already, but the whole H. pylori thing, eh? I ended up switching and going to another doctor. My mom's sister's friend suggested a doctor like, oh no, I had something similar, blah, blah, like she gave a proper explanation of things that I had been feeling. She's like, she had the same thing, but it's called something else for her, it's not H. pylori. So I went to the doctor, he had me do tests, this is a different hospital. I think if you have my Snapchat, you saw me post when I, I went there. So yeah, like he did tests and all that stuff, then he's like, you actually have, excuse me, something called Crohn's disease. It's also something to do with the stomach, like a gut issue, stomach issue and stuff. So he's put me on medication. We start with a really high dosage, then we start reducing slowly. So that's the whole thing where I'm in confusion. I feel like I'm not present and stuff. The medicine is really, really messing me up. And just a couple of days ago, I lost my sense of feeling. Like, I can't feel. I can shower really, really hot water. I only see, like, when my skin turns red, then I'm like, okay, I'm really overdoing the water. I eat food, like, it literally comes hot, but it just tastes cold to me. I don't know if it's the cold or it's the medicine, but it's just a whole lot of it going on. Then I'll show what medicines I'm taking for the COVID and the same medicine, which I'm saying, like, it's really, really strong. Let me do that. Let me show you the medicines. So I actually have like a whole bag of medicines. My the medication I was taking finished. So I had to go back to my aunt, my mom's sister. Oh, it is a dog that's really back. So disclaimer: the medicines I'm showing are just the medication I've had to take for like COVID and also for the current disease. Cause now this new doctor is not treating H. pylori anymore. So I don't know if I can say that I was being given the wrong medicines or I was misdiagnosed with the H. pylori. I did have it, but it wasn't what they were supposed to focus on. So yeah, let me show you. This is the bag from my aunt. Like she especially full of medication. My body is tired, guys. I really am tired. So I have this. It's called Nesalazine. I don't know if you can see it. I might have to just insert pictures at the end because or oh, let's reduce the brightness. Okay, so yeah, we have this mesalazine for the Crohn's disease. We have what do I have this also? Oh yeah, I have pre pre doselon for the Crohn's disease also. It's not showing. So there's like all these tablets. I have to take twelve tablets. Um, how many times? Twelve tablets once a day after food. Like I can only, I have to take this medication. It needs to go with another thing because apparently it messes up the stomach. You just drink it alone. Then what is a Marprozol? Please, if you are doing medicine and you know that I'm butchering the names of these medication, don't ask me because I don't know. I'm just taking. So yeah, this is the one. I have to take them together. I take this before eating and this after eating. Then what else do we have? <laughs> it's just more of the same medication because like it's gonna be a uh, like a uh, medication that I don't stop taking. We just start reducing the dosages as I feel better. And then what else do we have? So this is now the COVID bag, I think. So 
I have some vitamin C. I drink them three times a day. We have vitamin C. Then for some energy and stuff, I was given vitamin B. So if you know if you have COVID, make sure you take that. Then I was also given zinc. So vitamin C, vitamin B, and zinc for the COVID. If you go COVID, just go and grab these things. Or if you feel like you you have a cold or something like that, I'd advise you go and grab these things. And then also, uh, mom has been bringing me pineapple. Like you boil the pineapple. What does what do you call them? The outside of the pineapple. You boil them in hot water, and you sieve out everything, and you drink that cold water. It helps. And you can also add ginger to it and lemon is up to you. But the ginger and lemon actually elevates the taste. Like it tastes really nice. I can't taste though. Like I've kind of lost taste with the numbness and everything. But then I can kind of just small, small, small taste. That's why like when I'm eating, I'm actually over adding salt into my food because I can't I'm not getting the full flavour. That's it. What else do we have? Yeah, that's pretty much it. And some lozenges. Mine are done, but you can get that also. And I also had to take this because at my other review, I found out that I had, I still had a stomach bacteria that was still eating me up. So I had to do this for five days. So yeah, that's pretty much it. The sun is gonna set soon, and you can't miss that. That's the whole point of going to the rooftop. So. Let's go to the rooftop, grab our masks, and just chill. So this is my whole setup. Come and watch the sunset and the whole area. Focus. But yeah. So yeah, guys, this is my whole setup. I just come out here, chill. Talk to God, literally have a conversation with God and just talk because I know when you talk to up here, enjoy the air, the birds, everything because you know, attention to your breath. That's why I think we are breathing. Oh, and this is how you guys have been seeing a lot of my Instagram stories having so many clouds and stuff because this is short. The view is so pretty. So yeah, I just come here and dream this and hope I go into 2022 feeling better, talk to God about my goals and just for a different mindset because I've been in such a trashy and dumb place. So I come and ask for a lot of things from up here because I feel like I'm more connected to him because I'm literally in the clouds at this point. And I kind of feel more free from the insects like walking on me and stuff. But I still have to just keep on checking. Or else your girl is gonna be queen of insects or something. So enough of me ranting. Let me show you a little bit more of the sunset. I'll go back in, wait for dinner or do whatever. Maybe I might end the vlog because I might need to rest and stuff. <laughs>